Hello students, welcome to grade 10th coordinate geometry part 2. In this part, we will mainly focus on use of area formula and section formula. What is area formula? If there is a triangle ABC and the coordinates are given as x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Then area of triangle ABC is equal to half modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3. That is x1 into y2 minus y3. Next plus x2 into y3 minus y1. Plus y3, x3 into y1 minus y2. Now what is the meaning of this modulus sign? This modulus sign means that only positive value of the number comes out of it. Right? That is modulus of x is always plus x. If I have x is equal to minus 3, then also minus uh, modulus of x will be 3. And if x is equal to 3, then also the modulus is 3. Now, this area formula is used to prove that the given three points are collinear. That means for that, we will have to prove the area of the triangle formed by the three points is 0, which will imply that the points are collinear. Collinear means they will be lying in straight line. Also, it is used for finding the area of the given triangle. And last but not the least, we can make use of this area formula to find the area of a quadrilateral whose vertices are given to us. Let us see through few examples. The first example that I am taking is that show that A1, B1 and C1 are the collinear points. Now, one method we learnt last in the last video, that is in that we will find all the lengths of AB, BC and CA, the line segments formed by these points. And then see that if one length of one line segment is equal to the sum of length segments of other, other lengths of other two line segments. If that is possible, that we can say they are collinear otherwise not. Now, how to make use of area formula? Now, area of the triangle formed by these points will be equal to half modulus A into 1 minus 1 plus B into 1 minus 1 plus C into 1 minus 1. That will give me half into 0 plus 0 plus 0 which is nothing but 0. Now since the area formed by these three points is 0, therefore these points are collinear. Now let us do few more examples of distance formula and that will help us to revise that also once quickly. Find the points on x axis which are at a distance of 2 root 5 units from the point 7 comma minus 4. How many such points are there? Any point on x axis is of the form x comma 0. Now distance of this point from this can be written as square root of 7 minus x whole square plus minus 4 minus 0 whole square. That is equal to 2 root 5. Now we want to get rid of root signs so square both the sides. When we square both sides this will give me 20 and this will give me 49 plus x square minus 14x plus 16 which implies x square minus 14x is equal to minus 45 when I will take all these things over this side which gives me a quadratic equation as x square minus 14x plus 45 is equal to 0. Now 14 can be broken up into 9 and 5 in such a way that the difference is minus 14 and the product is 45. So this now from here I can take x common x minus 9 minus 5 common into x minus 9 is equal to 0. Which implies x minus 5 into x minus 9 is equal to 0. So now this gives me a hint that I will be getting two values of x. And what are they? They will be x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 9 because it was x minus 5 is equal to uh, x minus 5 into x minus 9 is equal to 0. Now therefore there are two points on x axis namely 5 comma 0 and 9 comma 0 that are at 2 root 5 
units distance okay now another example of uh, distance formula can be show that the quadrilateral whose vertices are 1,3 2,6 5,7 4,4 right is a rhombus now what are the properties of a rhombus properties of rhombus are that it is a quadrilateral whose all sides are equal so if we are able to uh, find that all these sides are equal using distance formula i can say it is a rhombus so here let us see ab will be equal to under the root 2 minus 1 whole square plus 6 minus 3 whole square which is equal to under the root 1 square plus 3 square is equal to root 10 bc will be equal to 5 minus 2 whole square plus 7 minus 6 whole square under the root which is equal to under the root 3 square plus 1 square which is again equal to root 10 cd will be root of 5 minus 4 whole square plus 7 minus 4 whole square which is under the root 1 square plus 3 square which is again equal to root 10 and lastly da also comes out to be root 10 so we notice that ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to da therefore ab cd is a rhombus one more example of uh, distance formula check whether 3 comma 0 6 comma 4 and 1 minus 1 comma 3 are vertices of an isosceles triangle so for this we will require to know the definition of isosceles triangle isosceles triangle is that triangle whose two sides are equal at least two sides i always say at least two sides are equal that means an equilateral triangle is also an isosceles triangle but i cannot call isosceles triangle a equilateral triangle now see here it is sufficient to show that two sides are equal let's check a b a b can be found by distance formula 6 minus 3 whole square plus 4 minus 0 whole square under the root which is equal to root 3 square plus 4 square that's equal to root 25 which is 5 units now let us try to find bc bc would be equal to minus 1 minus 6 whole square plus 3 minus 4 whole square so this gives me minus 7 whole square plus minus 1 whole square which is equal to 49 plus 1 under the root that is equal to root 50 units similarly let us find ac and we notice that AC comes out to be 5 units and AB is equal to AC we have got. So that means that ABC is an isosceles triangle. Now let us do section formula. Section formula is done uh, by taking two points P and Q whose vertices are X1 and Y1 x2 and y2 suppose the line joining them is pq and r is a point whose vertices are x and y and it divides the line pq in the ratio m is to n then the coordinates of x are given by n into x1 plus m into x2 upon m plus n and y is equal to n into y1 plus m into y2 upon m plus n midpoint formula now what is midpoint formula situation is same two points are there but this ratio will become 1 is to 1 so for midpoint formula we will just replace m and n by 1 and 1 so that means x will be given by x1 plus x2 upon 2 y will be given by y1 plus y2 upon 2. Now, if point R divides the line segment PQ in the ratio k is to 1 instead of m is to n, if it is k is to 1, then the situation probably will be this. So, x will be equal to k into x2 plus 1 into x1 upon k plus 1 and k into y2 plus 1 into y1 upon k plus 1 now we will study few 
examples based on section formula find the coordinates of the point which divides the line segment joining a 4 comma minus 2 to b minus 1 comma 3 in the ratio 1 is to 4 the picture would be somewhat like this a and b is a line p is a point let the coordinates be x and y it divides this line segment in the ratio 1 is to 4 so coordinates of x are definitely going to be 4 into 4 plus 1 into minus 1 upon 1 plus 4 that means x is equal to minus 1 plus 16 upon 5 which implies x is equal to 15 upon 5 that is 3 similarly y coordinate will be equal to 1 into 3 plus 4 into minus 2 upon 1 plus 4 that is 3 minus 8 upon 5 means y is equal to minus 5 upon 5 that is equal to minus 1 so the coordinates of the point p are 3 comma minus 1 let us practice one more question based on section formula find the coordinates of the point which divide the line segment joining the points 6 comma 3 and minus 4 comma 5 in the ratio 3 is to 2 internally so we can have the picture like this a b and p is x comma y and the ratio here is 3 is to 2 so x will be equal to 3 times minus 4 plus 2 times 6 upon 3 plus 2 that means minus 12 plus 12 upon 5 that is equal to 0 upon 5 means x is equal to 0 so y coordinate here now that will be equal to 3 into 5 plus 2 into 3 upon 3 plus 2 that is equal to y is equal to 15 plus 6 upon 5 which is equal to 21 upon 5 so the coordinates for point p x y will be p 0 comma 21 upon 5 next question find the ratio in which the line joining the points a minus 4 4 b 7 7 is divided by the point minus 1 minus 1 in the ratio k is to 1 so if you picturize it we are going to represent it like this a b and p ratio is shown as k is to 1 so x will be equal to k times 7 plus 1 times minus 4 upon k plus 1 that means minus 1 into k plus 1 is equal to 7k minus 4 which implies minus k minus 1 is equal to 7k minus 4 which implies minus 1 plus 7 plus 4 is equal to 7k plus k and further if we solve it we will get 3 is equal to 8k that means k is equal to 3 upon 8 and so we can say that the required ratio is 3 is to 8 remember whenever we have to find the ratio rather than taking m is to n k is to 1 is a better option because then you have to find only one variable and you will get a linear equation in one variable which is quite conveniently solved and when you get a fraction here you can always write that as a ratio that means the ratio will be 3 is to 8 thank you